Goku and Naruto took down the pain. Goku showing his Saiyan power for the first time in the Shinobi world. Everybody saw just how powerful he is as he one-shotted all the pain and the funniest part here is Goku was toying the entire time. In the last part we discussed Goku fighting with the pain as he easily took them down and even showed up by using his Kaioken power and after meeting with Yahiko for the very first time Naruto convinced him that being a pure hearted person is a better way so he decided to resurrect everyone. What is going on my Z fans welcome back to part 2 of what if Goku landed on Naruto verse. Before we begin this what if everybody please give this video a like show your support if you want more future crossovers with Goku and other anime character then definitely click the like button right there and please click the bell so you'll be the first time when the next episode starts. So my Z fans let's begin part 3 of this what if. Yahiko has just used his Rinai rebirth getting everyone in the shinobi world that he killed to be brought back to be alive again. While Naruto was emotional seeing Jiraiya be alive again and he began to cry and say, You have no idea how much I miss you pervy sage, you're like a father to me. Ah, Naruto, you're like a son to me too. Did you know that your father appointed me to be your godfather? And because of you and especially you, what's your name sir? My name is Goku. Goku, thank you so much for helping me and resurrecting me. Uh, it was nothing, all I did was just go into Waushin to get your body. Whatever it was, you saved this village, and the entire shinobi including the Hidden Leaf Village owes you their life. Well, you gotta thank Naruto, it is because of him he convinced Yahiko, how <laughs> was just a muscle. He's the one that managed to convince Yahiko to use the Arena Rebirth, is that what they call it? <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Well, thank you both you guys, I really appreciate it. With that, the news went to the Hidden Leaf Village that Goku and Naruto took down the pain, but because of Naruto, he is the reason why everyone was brought back because Pain decided to put his trust in Naruto as everyone decided to see Naruto as a hero for the village who saved it but they also worshipped Goku to be the hero to also save the village. They couldn't believe it and when everyone saw them they were beyond shocked to see that Jiraiya was alive again. So Naruto couldn't control her emotion as she began to pour tears of joy and started to cry and from there Jiraiya and Tsunaya had a moment as they both confessed their love to one another and this time they promised not to leave each other as they both fell in love with one another. While Naruto was getting cheered from all the Hidden Leaf Village, everyone continued to cheer him on along with Goku. They were beyond thankful for what Goku did and at the same time everyone was very amazed with Goku's power. After the celebration was over, Naruto and Goku decided to hang out with one another and have an eat out session as they went to every restaurant in the Hidden Leaf Village and pretty much emptied their entire restaurant by eating so much. So Nade and Jiraiya joined them too and they all celebrated as a group as they were very happy that Goku was here to save them and they still see Goku as some type of savior angel. They cannot believe how powerful he is but it is what it is. Goku being the Saiyan he is, he cannot go a day without training as Goku ran and the next day he began training non-stop. Goku was doing a lot of intense training to make himself strong, after all he loves to train, he is a Saiyan. He did a lot of meditations and everything he could to make sure he gets stronger and from there Naruto followed Goku as he saw that Goku was training and from there he said, uh, Goku, oh hey Naruto what's up, damn you're so strong, you think you could probably train me? Um, yeah, I could give it a shot. You know, I've been doing a lot of meditation here for this whole day, and now I'm beginning to sense your guy's power. Wait, you mean you could sense chakra now? That's what it looks like. Hold on, let me see. With that, Goku was able to sense Naruto's chakra. He then began to sense Tsunade's chakra, along with Jiraiya and Kakashi. Everyone was surprised to see that Goku was able to do that while Naruto was beyond impressed. From there Naruto asked Goku about his Kaioken that he used against pain. Oh <laughs> that, that was just a show off, I was actually holding back a lot of power. If I wanted I could end the battle easily but I was kinda waiting for you to come. Wait what do you mean? You mean you're toying with him? <laughs> yeah, that's kinda my, you could say habit. I love to toy with my opponents just to see where they stand. And also, it's not my responsibility to save your village Naruto, that's yours. It's the reason why I was giving you the chance to come and do it. So what was that technique that you used, the Kaioken you call it? Yeah, that's right. I learned from my master, King Kai. He taught me it. Do you think I could probably learn that technique? Ah, I never tried to teach someone that, but sure, I don't see why not. Let's go then, let me try training you. 
as Goku and Naruto spend weeks after weeks trying to learn the Kaioken technique and from there after a few weeks of try, Naruto finally managed to get a peek of it as he began to go and use it. K Kaioken! From there, Naruto instantly fainted. Ah, I should've knew it. People with chakra cannot handle the Kaioken. It's too much pressure for their body. Well, at least he managed to know how to do it. I did my part. Now you rest, Naruto. As when Naruto got up, he couldn't believe that he was able to do it, but he decided he'll never do it again because the pressure of using the Kaioken was like something he could never handle. It was too much pressure for him. And while they were hanging out a lot, Goku noticed that Naruto always would talk about Sakura and his promise and all that and from there he decided to ask him, by the way, what is this promise you keep saying about that you made with Sakura? And I have a feeling you really like her a lot, don't you? Wait, is that obvious? Yeah, I guess you could say I love her, but I don't deserve her to love me. How could I make her love me if I didn't keep my promise to her? Promise? What promise? From there, Naruto went and told Goku everything about Sasuke, the pain that he caused to the village and to Naruto, and that Naruto made a promise to bring back no matter what. Seeing Naruto's pain and that he's really dedicated to bring Sasuke back, Goku doesn't know why but he had this little feeling that he wanted to help Naruto out. After all, he is in his world, he's here for him so might as well do everything he can to help him out and from there Goku said, Don't worry Naruto, I promise I'll help you get your friend back no matter what. Wait really Goku? Of course I will. Now how about we go get some ramen? Sure! As they went and ate some ramen and from there Goku went back to meditate and do his training while Naruto got confronted by the Rock Kage's men. After all Sasuke was the one who took Killer B and they think he killed him so they decided to go and confront him but from there Naruto stood up for Sasuke as he took a beating by them but he didn't want no one to know and then once when he got himself healed he then heard that everyone is now going to gather as the right Kage called for a 5 Kage meeting. This summit was to show that they want to go and kill Sasuke Uchiha. He is declared as a rogue ninja. It is time to finally end his life. Goku finished his training as he came back to the village and he saw Tsunade was there with Jiraiya and Kakashi. She was happy to see Goku and said, I'm glad you're here Goku. Would you like to come with us? We're going to go to a 5 Kage summit. No, what is that? After explaining to Goku what a 5 Kage summit is, they then told Goku that the purpose of this summit is that the Raikage wants to kill Sasuke. Tsunade at the other hand doesn't really agree with that idea along with Hidden Leaf Village but they feel like if they go along with this plan, things will turn out to be worse. Naruto heard about the 5 Kage summit and how they want to kill Sasuke Uchiha. Upon hearing that, Naruto went to Kakashi as he started to rant to him and told him that he wants to talk with the Raikage just so that he could share his side of the story and hopefully Raikage could forgive Sasuke because Naruto doesn't want a war to break out between the Hidden Leaf Village and the Hidden Cloud Village. From there, Goku heard about it as Goku went and he looked towards Tsunade and said, So are you going to go with that idea? You are a Kage after all. No, I'm not, but I don't know what to do. Alright, I got this Tsunade. Leave it to me. Goku, what would you do? Don't worry. I made a promise to Naruto and I'm going to keep it. I promise to bring back Sasuke alive and that's what I'll do. I'll make sure they, I convince all of them. But Goku, do you really think you could do that? <laughs> Trust me, you have no idea how powerful I am. But it's the Kage we're talking about. Not just me, there's four other of me equals five. Do you know how powerful that is? Don't worry Sonade, I'm gonna go handle Naruto, you go towards the meeting. I could now sense Chakra, I'll meet you there. As Sonade agreed with Goku's plan and from there she began making her way towards the Kage summit. Goku on the other hand looked towards Naruto and said, Naruto, I want you to relax, I'll go and get Sasuke back. Bios yourself? Goku, that's crazy! But trust me, I could do it. From there he saw Naruto disappear and as he realized it was a clone jutsu. Naruto was already making his way with Yamoto and even Sai along with Sakura since they all want to see if they're able to convince the Rakage not to pursue Sasuke. Back at the Rakage summit, all the Kage has not arrived to the summit as a Rakage looked towards him and said, Good thing you're all are here. I brought you here for one reason. I want Sasuke Uchiha. He needs to die. 
Well, I see that you're really into killing him, but why? What do you mean, why? Hokage! He took my brother! He killed B! I'm not gonna allow that to happen! And I want your village to not interfere! When I kill him, I don't want no war to break out! Yes, I agree. Sasuke Uchiha has been a rogue ninja. It is time we take him out. Well, I'm not all about that, but sure, if we want to take him out, let's do it. Ha! <laughs> you guys are so pathetic, so lame. Whatever. I'm having a lot of backache, but if he comes in and tries to take us out, we'll be ready to kill him. Well, that's the reason why I called this summit. From there, they heard a loud explosion. As they saw someone has interfered with their summit, and from there, they realized this chakra was different. It was an Uchiha chakra, and they realized it was Sasuke, as Toby was the one to bring Sasuke here because he wanted to see how the fight goes with Sasuke in the Rakaige. Once they heard that explosion, Goku was able to pick up all the chakra that he saw that it was coming from that summit, and from there, Goku quickly went and made his way towards there, as it took him literally only two minutes since he was flying. From there, Goku has reached her at full speed, and once when he got there, he saw Sasuke was there, as the Rakage saw them and said, Sasuke! I'm gonna kill you! With that, the Rakage went towards trying to look for where Sasuke is, but Goku bumped into Sasuke and said, I take it you're Sasuke, huh? You're the one who's Naruto's friend. Who the hell are you? And how you know about Naruto? Well, let's just say I'm pretty much helping him out. But anyway, if you're Sasuke, you need to come with me, Sasuke. I'm gonna take you back. <laughs> to hell with that! With that, Sasuke went and used his Chidori as he tried to stab Goku, but he saw he couldn't penetrate through Goku's body. What the hell? Trust me, you don't want to fight me, Sasuke. I'm not a shinobi, I'm a Saiyan. And from your chakra level, I don't even have to do anything to one-shot your ass. How dare you, okay. Then how about you one-shot this? With that, Sasuke went and used all the gist so he can as he tried using Mangeku's Sharigan on Goku, but Goku wasn't phased by it. What the hell kind of person is this guy? He's not phased by it. I'll ask you this one last time, Sasuke. Don't fight. Come with me. I'm actually here to help. Get out of my way. I want to destroy that hidden leaf village as it is, and I'll destroy Naruto and anyone that comes away along with you. Now how about you see my Sunsuno? Well then, if that's what's going to make you happy, then go for it. But trust me, it's not going to do anything. As we have a conclusion battle coming up with Goku and Sasuke, and the Rock Kage is making his way to kill Sasuke too. Will this mean that Goku is going to fight with all the other Kage if they don't agree with his idea? All this will be answered in the next part. Make sure you click the bell, my Z fans, to be the first time when the next episode comes out. As we're going to end things right here with the cliffhanger. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please subscribe my boy Vegeta T23. Help him get to a 10,000 subscriber by supporting him. And please make sure you like the video to show that you really support this series.